In this example, we're being asked to find the limit as x approaches 0 of the tangent of 3x divided by the sine of 8x. The first thing you're always going to want to try on a limit problem, I call it option 1, you're just going to want to try plugging in whatever that x value is you're heading towards. You're just going to plug it in wherever you see an x in the equation. It's not always going to work, but it's it's one of those things that just when you stop trying it is when it actually ends up working for you. And it really shouldn't take you very long to kind of plug and chug through this little math problem. So out of here, we would get the tangent of 3 times 0 over the sine of 8 times 0 when we plug it in. The tangent of 0 gets us 0 on top. More importantly, though, the sine of 0 on the bottom is 0. So division by 0 is the biggest no-no in all of math. We are not allowed to do that. So that is bad. And basically, option 1 failed us. But like I say, you always need to try it because just when you think it's not going to work, it ends up working for you. So here, now what you want to try usually on a, on a trig problem is to start rewriting everything in terms of sine and cosine. So we're going to use our definitions, our identities to do this. The other thing you're going to want to do is if your pieces on the inside of your trig functions don't match like we see here, you're really going to want to sort of separate these things out into their own little individual pieces because you're never going to be able to really adjust the insides of those trig functions. So we're going to have to solve for them individually. So now what you'll do is you'll take and we'll rewrite tangent. The rewrite on tangent, the tangent of x is sine x divided by cosine x. So we rewrite this as sine x, oops, sine 3x because we've got a 3 inside there. So that'll be sine 3x over the cosine of 3x. And then there's nothing we can do to rewrite the 1 over sine 8x. And so we just leave that alone. At this point, again, because the insides of our trig functions don't match up, we cannot cancel out those two sine functions there. And so we don't really get any cancellation like you might see on some of these problems, which means we need an alternate method here. When you see all these sine functions going on in a problem, there's a limit definition that they give you that should be jumping out at you, sort of bells and whistles. And that definition says the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is equal to 1. And it's this little definition here that's going to help us out. It works both ways. So you could have limit as x approaches 0 of x over sine x. And that also would equal 1. The key when using this identity is not that you need an x on the inside. It's really that you need whatever is inside your sine function to match whatever is outside your sine function. And so that's where we come in here and start trying to add in some pieces to get that matching stuff to work. So looking at just this first piece here, I'm only addressing the sine 3x right now. I would say to myself, okay, what I need to have happen for this definition to work is I need a matching piece on the bottom. So that would mean I need a 3x on bottom. Well, to keep everything in balance in math, whatever you do to the bottom, you also have to do to the top. So that's going to work out in that situation. And now we go over to the sine 8x and we play the same game. We say, okay, well, I'm, I'm looking at the bottom version now. And so I need to make sure that up on the top, I have what matches what the inside that sine function. So that would be an 8x that I need to match. And again, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to just start cleaning this thing up now. So you want to... I, I just sort of call it grouping the pieces that work together with your, your sine identity here. So as I group my pieces, I'm going to group the sine of 3x with the matching piece of 3x. Then I'm going to come through and I'm going to bring the rest of the next one. So I'm going to use this bottom definition here and I'm going to group the sine of 8x with this 8x on top. 
And so what that's going to leave us with, if we look at the rest of this stuff, we still have a cosine 3x that's on bottom. We still have a 3x that's up on top here. And then we still have an 8x that is on bottom. Now that we've done this move, now we start really sort of applying a, a little simplification here. And we can start simplifying by canceling things out. So we've got an X on top and an X on bottom right here. So those will cancel each other out. And that's really all we can do. So not a big move, but you always just kind of want to stop and take a look for any of that simplification. Now what we're ready to do is we're ready to try again for solving this thing out. Basically trying to go back to option one if we can. So down here, when you look at this now, simplifying this out, the limit of this piece, and you can do limits because they're being multiplied, you can do them as chunks like this. So the limit of that piece, the inside of the sign matches the outside of the sign so the limit of that piece is just one going on to the second piece here again the inside of the sign function matches the outside of the sign function and when that happens that is one and then when we get to the end here we get three and now i'm back to option one i'm just plugging in zero for x right now so i get the cosine of three times zero times eight and so multiplying all the top togethers, we end up with one times one times three gets us three. The cosine of zero is one, one times eight gets us eight. And so that'll be our limit. So the limit as X approaches zero of the tangent of three X over the sine of eight X would be the value Y equals three eighths. This definition is just about making sure you get the outside of the sine function to match the inside of the sine function. And it's always going to be by using these multipliers and doing the, the same thing on top and bottom.